Marguerite Higgins was America's first female war correspondent to win a Pulitzer Prize for her frontline coverage of the Korean War within the early 1900s. Marguerite was a competitive person and stood in the crosshairs of two male-dominated fields of journalism and warfare. She was ridiculed and reprimanded constantly thanks to her gender, but that did not stop Marguerite from excelling in her profession. Higgins was born in Hong Kong in the year 1920 to an American father and French mother who had met during World War I. Her father had spent time in the French Army as an ambulance driver before the family decided to move to California in 1925. Later in Marguerite's academic career, she attended Columbia University and received her master's in journalism. Marguerite worked as a reporter at many different publications, such as the Weekly Tahoe Tatler, UC Berkeley's Daily Californian, and the Vallejo Times Herald. It wasn't until her job at the New York Herald Tribune that Marguerite started to make her mark on history. She was one of two women to work at the Tribune at this time, and was given a reputation for playing dirty tricks, such as using all of the library's resources in order for no one else to have access to them. Her outstanding work and determination during the time of Nazi concentration camps led her to receive the New York Newspaper Women's Club Award for the Best Foreign Correspondent in 1945, and five years later went on to Korea to cover the Korean War. Her senior correspondent, Homer Biggert, threatened to fire Higgins from her position if she refused to flee the country immediately, but after all, Higgins insisted on staying. The two began to compete against each other in the field to see who could conjure up the best stories and wound up both being awarded a Pulitzer Prize for their hard work. It has been noted that the Pulitzer jury said, she is entitled to special consideration by reason of being a woman since she had to work under unusual dangers. This prize was revolutionary for not just Marguerite's credibility being taken seriously, by colleagues, but for all female journalists to precede her down the line. This respect was not equally shown by all surrounding her, though. Military officers stood firm on their opinions that war was no place for a woman and that she most definitely did not belong on the front lines. In Higgins' fashion, she once again stood her ground and proved them rightfully wrong. In turn, she redeemed the highest respect from the commander of the United Nations, and he lifted the ban on female correspondents in Korea. Following her time in Korea, Higgins continued reporting around the world wrote her book, Our Vietnam Nightmare, and in 1963, left the Herald Tribune to spend her last few years of life in Long Island. She passed in 1966 at the age of 45 due to complications from an infectious sand fly bite, also known as leishmaniasis. Her legacy lives on today, and her bravery, spontaneity, and vigor are all qualities that reporters and journalists today try to emulate. Marguerite Higgins set a precedent for what it truly means to be an honorable female journalist.